back to another clip in my life another random clip in my life today is september 3rd friday i left my house one hour and about 45 minutes ago to end up right back in my motherfucking driveway y'all know why because i can't get no motherfucking weird new york has gone absolutely fucking crazy um, I just got a phone call that the guards for Rikers Island didn't show up. The inmates are running their own, running the jail on their own. Like, what? what is... New York is really the ghetto right now. I can't, I can't even. Um, so, my plan was... Well, the plan... I mean, I'm gonna just... Because, like, I'll tell y'all. I'll give y'all a good and a bad. So, today is actually my anniversary. And yesterday was my birthday. Hubby and I had planned to do dinner today because it was a Friday. We ain't doing no motherfucking dinner today. You know why? Because he got on my last motherfucking nerve. We had a really bad argument yesterday. And I'm just not with the shits. I'm not with the shits. I don't care. Um, I live in a realistic relationship. I don't put all my business out on Front Street. At the same time, I always tell y'all, things ain't always great. Things ain't always good. I'm not going to give y'all all the details, obviously, because that's, that's not what I do. But we i ain't really talking to him right now so dinner is off but i decided that i was gonna drive down um i checked before i left now i've spoken to some of you y'all have sent me things for my birthday thank you so so much i'm so appreciative i really really um y'all have no idea how much that touches my heart when people actually give me stuff I, I'm always super appreciative. I really want to cry. Like, it's, it's just such a beautiful thing to me. Um, so I checked. Yesterday, I couldn't go nowhere because everything was flooded. Today, supposedly, things kind of started clearing out. I had a pool in my front yard, but it's gone now. I, I don't know. The ground sucked up all that water. I don't know. But I checked my ways. Ways said the roads are clear. So... I was like, well, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to get out the house. I'm going to go down, head down to my post office. I'm going to pick up um, the things that you girls have sent me. Because um, I'm not back to work for a whole another week. So my plan, that was my plan. I didn't get anywhere. I didn't get anywhere. I sat on this road like I did in that other video where I got lost. In the video where I was talking about the pokey pokey. I sat on that same road. For about 30 minutes. I have no idea what the hell the holdup was. So on my phone trying to Google. Everybody was saying that this route was clear. There's nothing on ways. There's nothing online. So I'm like what the hell. Then come to find out it was a two car uh, crash. At one of the gas stations. Because the way. There's traffic coming from everywhere. And if you're not a good driver. You're not paying attention. It's easy to get into an accident on this busy road. And they want to put another motherfucking gas station over here. Not too far. And the my city, my town is against it. But I don't know if we're going to win. Because these billionaires are paying all the city council people to approve it. And the little people here that own. I mean, we're, we, we got a stake in these homes and shit. But they don't care. They don't care. They're taking the bribes and all of that. Like, so I think there's going to be a gas station here. I really don't have much hope, to be honest with you guys. But anyway, so I was like, all right, well, I have to make a decision because I'm not fucking sitting in this traffic. I also need gas, right? So I was like, all right, let me make this detour and go a different route. That route was backed up, right? So I'm like, yo, I fucking can't win. Finally was able to pull into the Coles parking lot. I was like, all right, let me get back on my phone. Let me see what other route can I take? What other gas station can I go to? Because things are just not going right for me today at all. Um, get back on another route, a route that I've never taken before. And it shut down. The road was shut down because I'm assuming that that road is flooded or the roads are flooded. 
So I've been on the road almost two hours and I've gotten nothing done. I've gone absolutely nowhere but in a circle and now I'm back home and I'm so frustrated. I really am like, I wanna scream right now because I can't get anywhere. I'm upset over some things that I'm never gonna share with y'all. Um, you know, that I was arguing with my husband about. And I'm really trying to keep my cool and my composure because when I'm angry, I don't like who I am when I'm angry, right? Even when I had this argument with my husband, I, I was proud of myself too because I was, I was super cool. I was super cool about it. But like I said, you guys, I done tried to get out this house. Yesterday and today was beautiful days after um, the terrible uh storm that we had you know all like most of new york city train stations are flooded people's homes apartments everything is flooded and um i i don't know you guys i i'm vlogging i don't even know if i'll load this up i mean this is a true interpretation of my life this is a true interpretation of what's going on right now um i'm just not <laughs> i'm not a hundred percent you know what i mean i'm not a hundred percent not happy right now i didn't want to be here when my husband got home he'll be home shortly but i can't go nowhere because i can't get nowhere i can't get nowhere if i can't get gas i can't even go like a different route like i need gas but i can't get to any of the damn gas stations like man there's a gas station this way but I don't know if I want to even go now. I, I feel so defeated. Like, I got up, got dressed. It's only 70 something degrees again today. The weather's already changing. I finally wore my little tote and carry uh, little couch thingy thing. It is just so cute. This is the cutest thing. Um, it's very good quality, too. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Do y'all remember? I don't know. But it's in one of my holes. But it's, it's it's very good. And I just think it's so pretty. And I was like, well, let me wear it today. Because in another three weeks, two, three weeks, we're going to be in October. Even though I be wearing neon colors summer, winter, spring, and fall. But I do tone the brighter colors down in the fall and winter. But I still be popping them in. I got like neon hoodies and stuff. But I'll wear it in winter. But I will probably keep this. I mean, I could wear it year round. It don't. It don't really matter. Like, I'm not one of those people that be like, "Oh, you can't wear white. Oh, you can't wear this. You can't wear that." Like, I, I'm really the type of person that wears whatever, whenever. But that was my logic initially when I was like, "Oh, I haven't worn this yet." Um, you know, while it's still sunny and bright and the flowers are still out, let me wear my cute little pink um, fanny pack or whatever they want to call these things now. But it just got to sit in my car because I didn't go anywhere. We, we did not even get out of my neighborhood at all. And now I'm trying to think, should I go try the gas station up here? Because I need gas. I'm not like how I was the other day. I still got about 200 miles left, but I plan on, <laughs> I plan on being on the road. Like I have all these plans in my head because I don't feel like arguing. I, I, I just don't feel like arguing. And you know, when you're in the same space with somebody and because our house is under construction, it ain't really too many places to go. I don't feel like arguing. I don't even want to talk. Like, I just need my time to myself. Like, leave me up. That, that's what it is right now. And um, I need gas. <laughs> I know y'all probably are like, what in the world? But this is just real life, y'all. This is just real life. This is real life shit. Um, I'm just not in the best of moods. And um, the universe is not making it any easier for me to escape <laughs> and go do what I want to do. I, I was like, I was going to take myself to the movies. I have no problem with going to the movies by myself. I have no problem doing anything by myself. My girlfriend was like, cause she reached out to me and she was like, oh, what you doing today? 
because everybody knew because all of my girlfriends were trying to take me out i got different groups of friends everybody was like oh what you doing let's go out to dinner let's do this let's do that and i was just like oh well let's wait till next week because hubby you know we're gonna go out to dinner and now we're not hi you guys welcome back to the channel you have made it this far in the video that means you are one of my loyal subscribers and you actually do watch my videos so i didn't want to put a giveaway in the title of the video because a lot of people come to your channel just for the giveaways not because they care not because they're interested in nothing you're talking about so i wanted to throw this in the middle of my 400th vlog it's not my 400th video but it's my 400th vlog okay i've been vlogging for a long long time on youtube like i said i started vlogging back when vlogging wasn't so popular you know um i think i was in that group of people we was just like do we film our whole lives and put it on the internet but yes 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 not the first group i was in the second group but anyway you guys it has been a wonderful wonderful journey for me here vlogging my life i am so 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 glad and happy that i have captured all the things that i have captured in my vlogging journey i'm so grateful that i have you know decided to save all this and share it with the world because it's been awesome and i have met some really really wonderful people and i'm so appreciative so here we go I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be giving away in this giveaway. I want to do it really quick and then I will tell you what you have to do. All right. So this is for my 400th vlog giveaway. Everyone who watches the video, you are able to enter if you are subscribed to me. You have to have already been subscribed to me. You cannot be a new subscriber. You have to already have been subscribed to my channel. All right. I'll get to the rest of the rules in a second. All right, so the first thing you're gonna be getting in this uh, giveaway is these beautiful pair of clutch nails. These are actually themed around uh, breakfast at Tiffany's because they're in that Tiffany blue. And these are like the almond coffin shape. Do they say what the shape is? Because people call the different shape different. This is like a coffin almond shape to me. All right, next you guys, you guys have seen this if you watch one of my um, hauls where I showed you guys that I sent my goddaughter one of these desktop microphone kits. What I didn't tell y'all is that I actually had purchased two because I had wanted to put one in a giveaway at some point. So here it is, <laughs> finally the giveaway. So if you are just starting out, or even if you're not just starting out, but you need a microphone, you wanna do like voiceovers. I do a lot of voiceovers um, and microphones are very helpful. Even the ones that you clip on your lapel, I have those too. They really do improve the audio of your content. So I'm gonna be throwing this in the giveaway. Um, recently, I did also share that I picked this or I found this in one of my hauls, um, the Harajuku Music Pop Electric Perfume. Now I did get this on clearance, you guys. Um, it was regularly priced $9.99, but it was $6. I have not opened this box, but it feels heavy and it does feel like there is a legitimate, a legitimate amount of perfume in here. I'm not gonna open this because I don't wanna destroy the box, but I'm throwing this in here. Hopefully whoever wins likes the scent. You guys know if you've been watching and if you are a supporter of mine, I am the holistic queen. We do a lot of natural products here in my home. I have been for a really long time. I treat my body as my temple as much as possible. Um, and I make a lot of my own products, okay? So I have created and I have posted this on Instagram and then things kind of went a little left. I didn't get to launch this other business that I was doing with my cousin. I'm not gonna get all into it. But anyway, this was one of the products that I was going to be offering. This here is called the Strawberry Smurfette Luxe Lip Scrub. This is divine, you guys. I actually use this myself. Everything that I sell or show you that I make, I am also not only the president, I'm a client as well. So I'm gonna throw this in, but I also have a little lip kit that will be coming with the lip scrub. So it's all a little kit to keep your puckers healthy and shiny. I'm also going to be throwing in the eucalyptus mint candle from Bath and Body Works. Woo, that smells amazing. 
I will also be throwing in two bath bombs. One is for the root chakra, the other one is for the throat chakra. And they smell amazing. And last but not least, bam! One of you, whoever wins, will be receiving this $100 Amazon card. I figure what better way to give back than to give you a gift card in which you can buy whatever the hell you want. It's cool that I pick out all these little cool things, but this will allow you to purchase maybe something that you've been wanting to get or maybe some new things that you want to get. This will allow you to do so, okay? So the rules will be very simple, you guys. Um, obviously, like I said, you will have to be a subscriber or already a subscriber to my channel. You also have to be following me on Instagram. So what I will allow is if you are a subscriber and you are not following me on Instagram, I'm going to leave my Instagram name right here. Make sure that you follow me and I'm going to post a picture of all this stuff on Instagram and under that picture, just let me know that you're entering the giveaway. Now, what I want you to do is nothing all crazy. I want you guys to leave in the comments, um, what do you want to see me do during Vlogmas? I am going to attempt to do Vlogmas again this year. I don't care what you guys come up with. Give me some ideas of what you may want to see during Vlogmas. I have some ideas. Last year, I totally winged it. I was talking to my girl, Leah Ray from the Leah Ray show. And I was telling her, like, girl, you doing Vlogmas this year? We was just like, ah, because y'all know Vlogmas is super intense. But I did very well. Only missed two days last year. But we're going to try to do every day this year. And last year, I was quarantine this year i am not so that's gonna be a lot more difficult for me but i plan to do like some pre-recorded stuff i plan to i hope i will and that's it you guys i just leave in the comments in this video what videos and you can do more if you do don't get spammed though wait in between <laughs> i'm gonna probably leave this video up before i close it for maybe like a week so if you come back one day and you say, oh, I thought of something else, put it in the comments, don't get spammed and let me know. Or you could leave all your ideas in one comment. Watch your words, you guys, because like I said, YouTube is flagging certain words um, and then the comments are not being able to be posted. So I want it to be fair. What do you want to see me do for Vlogmas? It could be cooking videos, decorating videos, get, get to know me videos. Um, questions about chunky, questions about fashion, questions about holistic stuff, uh, financial, anything you could think of within, uh, <laughs> don't get too crazy, okay? And that is it, you guys. So I'm gonna also leave all the rules in the comment section. Nobody reads the description bars anymore. I will leave all the rules in the comment section so that if you forgot anything that I said, you can just go look in the comment section and make sure that you're following all the rules. And that is it. Good luck, back to the vlog. My girlfriend was like, well, um, come meet me and let's go see Candyman, right? And I was like, oh, okay, cool, bet, whatever. And then I just had to text her and tell her, like, I can't, I can't even get out of my town, girl. You don't have to school post Because <laughs> I can't even get out of the town. Um, there is a movie theater that I probably could get to, but I didn't check the times or nothing. And um, I'm about to just go sit in my A chair and edit some videos because I feel defeated. I just feel defeated. I feel my energy, my my everything is is just down, down, down. I had planned to power wash my house um, while I was home this week, and. Um, I might still be able to do that next week, but it's not as warm as it was, um, you know, like a few weeks ago. It's been a little chilly, you know, with all that water and stuff. It'd be cold. So I'm hoping next week for like a day or two of 80 degrees, at least in the 80s, and I could get out here. I did one side, but I need the ladder. And my husband was so against me doing it. He wanted to pay somebody to do it. And I'm like, yo, we have a power washer. Like, why Why are we paying somebody to do this? Something that I can do. It, it's not hard. I actually enjoy it. I actually, I'm a Virgo. I like in cleaning things. Um, and he's just like, whatever, whatever. Just go ahead. Just, you know, don't fall on the ladder. Like, I wouldn't fall. 
<laughs> even if I did full right here, like it's not, it's not that bad. <sighs> if I fell on the side or the back of the house, I might be dead because of the, the height. But in the front right here, I should be alright. And I'm a super extra cautious, careful person. Super extra cautious, careful person. Like super careful, much of a special ocean. All right, let me decide what I'm doing with my life, y'all. Oh, I just listened to Drake's album um, for the whole hour and whatever. I was riding around going nowhere, and I like it. It's um, way better than Kanye's album. Well, at least it made more sense to me. Like, I understood his songs. I knew what he was saying. The beats were good. He had a lot of features of some, you know, good people that I like, like Little Baby. I like Little Baby. Um, Future, I'm not really a big fan of Future not necessarily of his music but him as a person like i know i don't know him but like just the way he present the way he do women all these baby dad on me baby mom is like ugh. i feel like i shouldn't support you like you're trash you're trash but um his music is okay i guess but um yeah i wanted to do my r kelly you know it's been about a year or two since i did the first r kelly video i think it's at six no at 53 or 54 thousand views which is not a lot but um at this moment but there's it's getting more views now because the story is back out so more people are back on that video that's what happens too guys when you make videos about like celebrities or any type of trendy topic um you probably will always be able to make money or get views on those videos because it all <laughs> these things always come back around um with these celebrities and the drama and all of that so yeah i don't know um i made a part one and a part two the part one got 53 53 thousand views but part two only got four thousand or three thousand and that was because of timing when i released the first video it was exactly at the height of when all the allegations were out about r kelly when um surviving r kelly came out the this docuseries i had released that video right one time but then when i when i finally released part two it was weeks later it wasn't the same enthusiasm you know it wasn't you know new or whatever anymore so i didn't get as many views so that's why it's important if you're looking for views or whatever when you're releasing stuff you can't wait you know weeks later even sometimes a week later a few days later it's already it's already something else is out it's already not popular anymore and it's already 50 million other people who have made you know the video so you gotta be with your time in it, your editing. And it be, y'all know, it be taking me f I, forever to edit. And I have filmed that video, both part one and part two, in the same day. But part two, I just released it a lot later because it took me forever to edit it. I could have made one long video. But at the time, I decided against it because the first video I think was already long. And I was like, I don't want to make a 40 something minute video but the more and more i'm starting to do videos like i'm i'm getting against doing one two three parts like because i mean if the shit is good whether it's 40 minutes 50 minutes 60 minutes if a motherfucker want to listen to it or they interested they're gonna watch it sometimes when you do one two and three parts people may watch your first part and then get distracted and not come back to your second part you know what i mean at least in my experience that has been my experience i don't know but, um, yeah, yes, I actually feel a little better, you guys, talking to you, you know, getting, getting some stuff off my chest. Um, I feel a little lighter, which is good. You see, y'all, y'all my peoples. Y'all my peoples. I am hungry. All I ate today was some, uh, tea cookies, um, a glass of water. I think that's about it. So, if I do go back in the house, which I think I am, because I'm tired now, because it's just too much going on, I am probably going to make a pair. Look at me, and I'm tired, and I didn't do shit. I was laying around all day. I finished watching Why Women Kill. It was actually suggested to me by another friend of mine. There's two seasons. The first season was really good, but it's about three separate women in three different eras right it was good um then the second season is in one era 1949 and it's about one family and it was also good it was so crazy like just the things that people do but i love those type of movies so i finished that um the second season is 10 episodes the first season i think is about 11 12 maybe 
um, it took me all together maybe about two or three weeks off and on to finish it uh, what else did I watch sweet girl on Netflix that's with um, uh, about to call her Denise Lisa Bonet's husband Jason Momoa I think his name is it was okay it was a little twist at the end I'm just trying to tell y'all what I'm watching. I'm trying to make this video 20 minutes. I'm at 16 minutes. Um, I saw that. I saw that. There was another one that I watched that was like kind of creepy. I forget what it was, but um, I'm into like sci-fi. I like sci-fi, good sci-fi, not this corny sci-fi. Sci-fi movies that are actually based on real science and things like that. Um or real history like those are really good um so yeah i got all my i have my mask ready <laughs> like i had this whole plan about by you guys about getting to the city going to these certain stores that i wanted to go to um a lady in sephora actually put something aside for me and I tried to call but nobody picked up. I was gonna tell her to forget it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it there today. And then I was gonna go uh like I said, go forget it. It didn't work out, y'all. <laughs> just it just it's just my plan it just didn't work out. Maybe it was for the better, you know. Things do happen for a reason. I'm a big believer in that and I always tell y'all I pay attention to the signs and things um around me and they happen so frequently for me like things just stop me in my tracks sometimes and i'm like oh, got it nope that's a no-go and it always works out for me you know but you got to pay attention to these things um some people will tell you like oh yeah it's an, what are you talking about that's not true oh, it's just a coincidence live your life believe in what you want to believe in i believe in what i want to believe in my life i don't i never speak on things that i don't know to be true especially for me like i can't speak on what's true to you but but i'll never talk about anybody else's like feelings or beliefs or whatever like because um that's not my place whatever you believe or whatever you practice that's you you know but when people sit up here and try to tell you or try to down talk somebody else's what they believe in or whatever that's their own personal issues like you can't you can't down talk what somebody else believes and you're not in that person's shoes you don't you don't know their experiences you know what i mean so that's just not something i'm going to do but um yeah that's it you guys so almost 20 minutes i will talk to y'all some other there's some other point i don't know so it's the weekend but i am not sure what is going to that's a nice little sun in the background right i'm not sure what's going to transpire um this weekend because things are a little rocky right now in my house so we'll have to see what goes on and i think the guys i don't know if they're coming i think they're coming next weekend to start doing the walls upstairs um so this weekend i'll be free i guess to do whatever but and this was supposed to be a really good weekend for me because it's my anniversary weekend and my birthday weekend and it's been shitty as fuck basically